Hello, hope you're doing well, and welcome to today's training video. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to use AI, specifically ChatGPT, to create and up-level your resume. So when looking to transition from one role to another, even if it's in the same field or another field, your resume is really what speaks to recruiters and hiring managers about your skills. And the reality is that everybody doesn't necessarily like to work on resumes. Um, writing resumes is not very exciting for everyone. You have to know what words to use. And sometimes it actually stops people from moving forward. The great thing now is that we have tools, AI tools like ChatGPT that can help with resume preparation. So you no longer need to stare at a blank piece of paper wondering what in the world you need to put on your resume. So in today's video, we are going to talk about three key prompts that you can give ChatGPT to create an amazing resume. Let's get started. So on my screen here, you'll see that I'm already logged into ChatGPT and you can create a free account. It's openai.com and I have another video on the channel that talks about it, okay? So now when you're logged in, you will most likely see 3.5, but I'm using four because I am a plus member. But let's go ahead and get started, okay? So the first prompt is an easy prompt. It's just asking ChatGPT to write a resume for you. What you want to do is not give it generic instructions on resumes. You want it to create a resume that's specific to a job role. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type a prompt and then I'm going to copy it in here. I already have it typed up. And I'm going to paste it right in here. And the prompt, if we scroll all the way up, is write a resume for an IT auditor based on this job description. The reason I'm copying and pasting from somewhere else is if you just type something and press enter, it actually sends the instructions. And I want to send the instructions um, along with the job description. So now I'll click this and ChatGPT goes to work. So ChatGPT is your assistant, it's helping you, and it's now creating a resume for you. And we're just gonna give it a minute to finish. While ChatGPT is putting this together, I do want to say something. This is a tool and it's a start. So you do not want to take the results of this and automatically just copy and paste that and start sending it out to apply to jobs. You don't want to do that. This is a start. You want to take this resume, review it, and refine it before you start applying to jobs. But the beauty here is you are no longer going to be starting from a blank piece of paper. You are going to actually have something that you can start with that's already aligned. So this resume, you can see, it's using a lot of keywords. Like you can see socks, ICFR in the job description here. And in the actual resume, it's using a lot of those same um, words. So it's using the same key points. So the first prompt is to just generate a resume. Now you might have a question and say, well, what if I can't really do all these things? That's where the second prompt is going to come into play. You now will ask ChatGPT to create your resume based on a job description and also based on your current skills. So while the first one, you just generated a generic resume, and to further fine tune this, if you already have a resume you're working with, you want to tailor your current resume to the job description, and you can have ChatGPT do that by providing it with the information. So the second prompt is going to ask ChatGPT to tailor your resume, that means your existing personal resume, to the job description. So let's go ahead and get that started. The second prompt is to tailor your existing resume from whatever field you're currently working in to match a job title. And we're going to go ahead and type the prompt in here along with the information. So let me scroll up so that I can show you what I'm doing here. So the prompt is tailor my resume to this job description for an IT auditor, or I'm going to change that for an IT audit role. And what you will copy below is Here's my resume, and then you go all the way down, and also here's the job description. Again, I like to type this in a Word document first or Google Doc before I paste it in here so I don't have to type multiple times. So now that we have all the information there, let's go ahead and send 
so that ChatGPT starts to work. So it's going to take a few seconds to review and then get to work. All right, so now you can see ChatGPT is working. While it's doing that, the resume that I posted was someone that had a project management background, and that person is trying to move into an IT audit role. So you see here that it's trying to tailor this information and it's working, all right? And you'll see based on what I have here, it's trying to emphasize, you know, project management skills, managing project scopes, which is very relevant to IT audit. It says this person is pursuing an IT audit role to leverage their skills to drive compliance. That really sounds great. And then it talks about their prior experience, and it also tries to see, look at this right here. Proactively identified system changes and their potential impact on project deliverables and outcomes. This is something that's relevant in the audit field. So ChatGPT is giving you transferable skills that you can use from your existing experience to the new field of IT audit. So again, that's a very powerful prompt that helps you to tailor your existing resume with your existing skills to whatever new role that you're looking to go into. And for us, that IT audit that we are using in this um, example. Now, the third prompt that is very great is your introduction. Your professional summary needs to be really great. And you can see here that it did come up with a professional summary, but I really wanted to come up with a strong professional summary. So I'm going to use a new prompt just for the professional summary. Because you need your resume to come up with a good professional summary, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. So again, as a reminder, you want to review this and you want to make sure that it works before you start using it. But for the purpose of this training, I'm just going to use this resume that ChatGPT has provided. And then I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write a professional summary for this resume. So again, we go in here and we type the prompt as well as the instructions. So the prompt that we are using here is write a professional summary for my resume and keep it under 100 words because I'm trying to keep it very tight. If you want, you can change the number of words, but overall, you don't want a professional summary that's too long. So let's ask ChatGPT to do this now. And just um, to clarify, again, below, I'm copying this resume that ChatGPT came up with. In your case, you'll be copying the final resume that you've edited and are ready to send out. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT to help. So ChatGPT is working on this now. It's looked at the information and is now coming up with a summary. And that sounds just about right. So you can see that this professional summary is a little bit tighter uh, than the one that we have here. So it really um, draws on the strengths of the project manager. And you can see it's also talking about IT risk and IT controls. So this is a pretty tight uh, professional summary. Again, you want to obviously update this. Um, make sure you fill in the gaps with the percentages, the metrics, the number of years of experience. And you can then copy this professional summary to the top of the resume that you plan to send out. So hopefully you found this video very helpful. There are many prompts that you can use to create your resume with ChatGPT. But I think these three are very key to helping you come up with a resume that's well aligned with the role that you're trying to apply for and also provides a professional summary that can really be impactful to the recruiter or hiring manager that's looking at your resume. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next video.